Ralph. I've been looking for a safe hiding place for his Christmas present. Oh. Well, did you find out? Find out what? What Ralph's giving you. Oh, no, it's only Christmas Eve. We always exchange our gifts, you know, Christmas morning. Oh. Would you like to know what Ed gave me? Now tell me he's given you your gift already. Oh, he couldn't wait to give it to me. Well, what'd he give you? You ready? Uh-huh. An orange juice squeezer. <laughs> an orange juice squeezer? Oh, this isn't an ordinary orange juice squeezer. This is a statue of Napoleon. Napoleon? Yeah, you see, you squeeze the orange on Napoleon's head and the juice squirts out of his ears. <laughs> well, Trixie, you gotta admit it's different. Oh, it's different, all right. It's downright crazy. Say, hey, Alice, have you got any oranges? I haven't got a one, and, and Ed's dying for me to try it out. Oh, yeah, I think so. Let's see. Yeah, let's see. Will these be enough, Oh, tricks? that'd be wonderful. Oh, three swell. Gee, thanks a lot, Alice. Look, honey, I'll see you later. Huh? Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> caught me hiding your Christmas gift. Ralph, I hid your present under there. You got yours under there, too? <laughs> There's a riot. Two of us hiding our Christmas gifts like we're a couple of kids, and we couldn't wait to see them until tomorrow. Uh -huh. <laughs> what are you giving me? <laughs> You'll just have to wait till tomorrow morning to find out. Okay, I can wait. No hurry. All right, Ralph, looks like I'll have to hide your present someplace else. What do you mean, hide it? You don't have to hide it. I'm no baby. I can wait till tomorrow to see it. Well, all right. Look, Ralph, I gotta go up to Trixie's for a minute. So while I'm gone, why don't you go inside and wash up? All right. You can't trust me. <laughs> That's a fine thing for you to say. You can't trust me. You're the one that can't be trusted. You said you were going upstairs. <laughs> Look, Ralph, will you hurry up and finish trimming the tree? People might start dropping in later. This is a grocery store. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, that proves it. That settles it. You had to hide your gift, and I didn't hide mine. That proves just one thing. I can trust you, but you think that you can't trust me. Oh, I can trust you, Ralph. Then why did you hide it? All right, to prove how much you trust you, Ralph, I'll tell you where I put the present. It's in the bedroom closet on the shelf behind my hat box. I don't care where it is. It doesn't make any difference to me. Why is 
Eisenheimer. <laughs> Two can play at that game. Tune up the old tree in our office, boy. Yeah, it's gonna be a beauty. It sure is. What do you got behind your back? I got a Christmas present for you. Oh, well, hand it over. <laughs> huh? I say hand it over. Ain't you got nothing for me? <laughs> yes, I've got something for you. All right. One, two, three. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Well, I suppose we both gave us the same thing, a tie. I didn't get you no necktie. You didn't? What's in here? I bought you a pair of spats. <laughs> spats? What did you get me spats for? Well, let's face it, Ralph. You're not the easiest guy in the world to shop for, you know. It's, it's, it's pretty tough to get a guy something that, well, a guy that's got everything. <laughs> well, Merry Christmas, Ralph. Merry Christmas, Norton. <laughs> anyway, I know it came from your heart. No, it didn't. It came from the fat man's shop. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what? what did Alice give you? Oh, we don't exchange our gifts until tomorrow. Oh, no? Yeah, some kind of a fetish she's got. <laughs> oh, yeah. But wait till you see what I got her. Yeah? When she sees this, she flips. <laughs> Absolutely flips. Where'd you get it? <laughs> it's under the icebox. Mind if I, uh, take a look? Be my guest. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. Oh! <laughs> that is beautiful, Rob. I mean... <laughs> You know, it was a smart idea of you all to put that underneath there because in case accidentally, if she goes in there and finds it, she'll just think it's a pan for under the ice box. <laughs> and it's novel, too, you know. I mean, she's not going to get another present for anyone else like this. She couldn't. No one would have a need for two of those. No. <laughs> well, Oh, nothing, Alice. Oh, come on, Ed. I know you've got something behind your back. I've got nothing at all. Honest. Ed, I know you're hiding something behind your back. Well, jigs up, Ralph. Merry Christmas, Alice. <laughs> What's this? Well, it's your Christmas present. Not from me, it's from Ralph. Oh, why don't you shut up? Pay no attention to him, he's a nut. It's always been under there. That isn't the gift. I put her gift way in the bag. Oh. Here. <laughs> oh. That's a beauty. That isn't a gift. This is the gift. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Ralph. Oh, I, I see. Now, you hid the present under there, and you put the, the mouse trap was a clever ruse of yours in case some dope is stupid enough to stick his hand in there. <laughs> well, you see this thing. Mm. I can't wait till you see it. Let me look. There it is. Oh, that is beautiful. It certainly is. What is it? <laughs> it is. It's a box to keep hairpins in. <laughs> See? Got a little secret compartment for bobby pins. Boy, what do I think of next, huh? Yeah. You know, when I bought this thing, the guy told me it's all handmade, you know. It's yeah. 2,000 matches glued together. Oh. Look at that thing. And he said it was made across the seas, you know. I thought he was kidding me, but right there it says made in Japan. There it is, in black and white. I'm telling you, this, this is something that, that a girl would not go out and buy for herself. You say that again. And another thing about this, the guy told me that this is the only one of these in the whole world. That at one time this was in the house of the Emperor of Japan. It was smuggled into this country. No kid. I'm telling you. I just can't wait to see the expression on her face when she gets this. 
I'd like to see the expression on the Emperor of Japan's face when he finds out it's missing. <laughs> If you're so anxious to give her the gift, why don't you do it now? Exchange a gift. Pixie and I have done it already. Yeah, but she likes to give the gifts tomorrow, you know. Tomorrow may be too late. The Emperor's probably got a bunch of spies on the trail of this thing. <laughs> Maybe you're right. I'm dying to see the look on her kissing when she sees Go this. Go ahead. Alice, honey! Oh, come in. Yeah? Oh, hi, Mrs. Stevens. Uh, oh, hello, Mrs. Stevens. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I, I tell you why I dropped by. I'm leaving now for Bayonne to spend Christmas with my sister. Uh -huh. And I've built something for you for Christmas that I wanted to give you. Oh, you shouldn't have. Oh, it's nothing. I just wanted to remember you. Well, I have something for you, too. Oh, well, thanks. Everybody's giving. Well, yeah. well, what do you say if we, we won't see each other again until after Christmas? We open them now? All right. Lovely, Mrs. Cranston. A kitchen thermometer. Just what I needed. I'm so glad you like it. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> oh, it's, not... <laughs> it's nothing. It's just a trifle. I, I just wanted to give you a little remembrance. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful, Ralph? Come on, come on, come on. It's, it's a box to keep hairpins in. And there's a secret, secret door to keep bobby pins in. Oh. And would you believe it? It's made of 2,000 matches glued together. Oh, I don't know how to thank you. Oh, believe It's such a cute gift to give someone. Oh, believe me, it's nothing. If you want to get some as gifts, I got it at that little novelty store <laughs> that's selling out, you know, the one near the subway station. Oh, yes. Well, it was awfully sweet of you to remember oh, me. Don't make such a fuss about it. In fact, I'm kind of embarrassed after what I gave you. <laughs> well? Well, I must be running along. Merry awful. Christmas, everybody. <laughs> bye bye, Miss Stevens. Bye. Merry Christmas. Bye. <laughs> See, that's a cute little thing. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> I'm supposed to be happy to think that my, my wife thinks her husband thinks so much of her that he gives her a gift that the, some neighbor brings in from a novelty store. Well, don't forget that yours is different. Yours came from the Emperor's palace. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you get it into your head, Norton? I was cheated. It never came from any Emperor's palace. <laughs> what am I gonna do, Norton? I only had some money. There's still time to get us something. It's early yet. Hey, have you got any money? Don't look at me. This is Christmas time. Everybody's busted at this time. I'm broke. I ain't got no money. Yeah, I guess you're right. Everybody's broke. Funny part about it is, I didn't have to be broke. I had $22 stashed away, Norton. 22 But I had to be selfish and think of myself. As soon as I got that $22 together, Right down I went and I bought the new bowling ball. <laughs> Always have to think of myself. I could have brought Alice a beautiful present with that $22. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just thought of something. You know those labels that say, do not open till Christmas? Yeah. We get some labels, see? Put on Alice's present, do not open till after Christmas, see? Come on, let's get the label. <laughs> well, wait a minute. What good will that do? Tomorrow's Christmas. She don't open it tomorrow, see? Because you don't give it to her. You sleep all day. Then she's got to wait a whole year before she can open it up again, see? And in the meantime, you can get her another present. <laughs> <laughs> You're a riot, Norton. A regular riot. Come in. Hey, Uncle Leo. Hey, Merry Christmas, Ralph. Merry Christmas, Uncle Leo. You know, Ed Norton. Oh, yeah. Happy Yule time. Uh, Same to you, Mr. Yeah. Norton. Same to you. 
Hey, it's good to see you, and I'm glad you came. We got a present for you. Well, well. There you are, Thank pal. Thank you, Ralph. Thank you. Merry By the Christmas. way, where's Alice? Oh, she went out. She's uh, doing a little shopping. Oh, well, I got a little something here for you and Alice for Christmas, too. Oh, thank you very much, Uncle Leo. Hey, why don't you have some coffee? She'll no, be back in a minute. No, no. Thank you just the same. I got some more stops to make. Tell her I stopped by. Well, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry pal. Christmas. Happy old time. Nice guy, that Uncle Leo, ain't he? He's a sweetheart. Yeah. Norton, look what? at this. A $25 gift certificate for Wallace's department store. $25? Oh, hoo, hoo. Hey, this is the point. answer to all my problems. You and Alice can really get a beautiful present, huh? What do you mean, me and Alice? This'll do it. I'd give a gift for Alice with this. Hey, wait a minute. Just, just hold the phone. Just wait a minute. If you use this gift certificate to get Alice a present, isn't she gonna get just a little suspicious that Uncle Leo didn't give her nothing this year? You don't understand. When Tuesday comes and I go back to work, I borrow the 25 from one of the bus drivers. Then I buy another gift certificate and I hand it to her. I say it slipped my mind when Uncle Leo gave it to me. Now, look, I haven't got oh, much time. Okay. I gotta get right down. Okay. Listen, while you're going down there, I'll finish trimming up the tree. <laughs> Take it easy, now. Why, I want to tell Where you. Where are you going, Ralph? Oh, uh, I'm just stepping out for a little air. <laughs> uh, you know who I met downstairs, Ralph? Dum -de dum dum. <laughs> Yeah, I know who you met downstairs. Oh, he was up here? Yeah, he was here. He left us this. Merry Christmas, he said. $25 gift certificate. $25 gift certificate from Tommy Mullins? <laughs> Tommy Mullins? I thought you were talking about Uncle Leo. Oh, was Uncle Leo here? No. <laughs> Tommy Mullins, he's home from the Navy on leave, and I thought maybe he'd run up here to see you. No. Boy, wasn't that sweet of Uncle Leo. <laughs> Listen, Ralph, I picked up the salary for Trixie down at Krause's, and I gotta run up there for a minute, but I'll be right back. All right. I thought you were going out. No, it's too cold out. <laughs> I'll be right down. Three hundred and sixty-five days in a year, and that Mullins has got to come home from the Navy. <laughs> Tough luck, Ralphie boy. Well, I got nobody to blame but myself. It's my own fault. I take twenty-two dollars that I'm saving up, throw it away on a bowling ball. I could have got her a beautiful gift with that. Wait a minute. That's it. What are you going to do? Very simple. I'm going to take the bowling ball, hock it, get the money, and buy her a gift. I ought to get ten, fifteen dollars for this thing. Boy, oh boy, you got a knack for getting yourself out of trouble. <laughs> Just remember, Norton, when there's an emergency, I come out of it. When they made me, they threw away the mold. <laughs> <laughs> they had to. You probably broke it. Yeah. <laughs> something. <laughs> Your mother certainly has taste in pajamas. <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? They are. Mother showed them to me. I knew you'd like them, Ralph. Yeah? Come on, honey, sit down. Look, Alice said, before we eat, can't we exchange the gifts now? Ralph, the eggs will get cold. So what? It's Christmas. All right, sweetie. I'll go get your present. All right, I'll get mine. Merry Christmas, Ralph. Merry Christmas. You open yours first. <laughs> bowling bag ball. I mean a bowling ball bag. <laughs> what I want to 
it, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. I know how crazy you are about that bowling ball, Ralph. Yeah. So I thought you ought to have a bag to carry it in. Thank you very much. Go ahead, open up. Well, sweetie, why don't we get the ball and make sure that it fits in there? <laughs> I don't have to do that. They're all the same size. They all fit in there. Oh, come on. I just want to make sure it fits. I can't put the ball in the back. <laughs> you said it was the right size. Why not? I hocked it. It's a long story. See, Alice, I stashed away $22, see? And, uh, well, you know how I used to walk past that store and see the bowling ball in the window all the time? Well, I <coughs> spent the 22 for the bowling ball. But I had enough dough to get you a nice gift. And I got you a nice gift. Except that it was the same gift that that lady got you. Except the fella didn't tell Hus that Hus came from the Emperor of Japan's house. <laughs> the 2,000 sticks that were glued together. <laughs> You see, I had the same thing to give you that she gave. And she was saying it was, you know, little thing you got at the novelty store and everything. So I began to feel ashamed of myself. So I took the bowling ball down, I hocked it, and, and that's when I bought you that. Wait till you see. Open it up. Oh, Ralph, it's beautiful. You like it, sweetie? Oh, I love it. It's the best present I've ever gotten. Thank you. And it's practical, too. You see, you squeeze the oranges on the pole's head. <laughs> 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 you know something, sweetheart? <laughs> Christmas is... Well, it's about the best time of the whole year. You walk down the streets even for weeks before Christmas comes. And there's lights hanging up, green ones and red ones. Sometimes there's snow, and everybody's hustling someplace. But they don't hustle around Christmas time like they usually do. You know, they're a little more friendly. They bump into you, they laugh, and they say, pardon me, and Merry Christmas. And especially when it gets real close to Christmas night. Everybody's walking home, you can hardly hear a sound. Bells are ringing, kids are singing. Snow is coming down. And boy, what a pleasure it is to think that you got some place to go to. And the place that you're going to has somebody in it that, that you really love. Someone you're nuts about. Merry Christmas. Gentlemen, we usually don't step out of character, but tonight I think it proper that uh, Mr. and Mrs. Cramden and uh, Mr. and Mrs. Norton wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Would you come in there, Nortons? There they are. <laughs>